Hi guys, I uh, just want to talk about multiple income streams. Um, also the fact that having income streams that are running when you're not there is also important. Uh, for example, if you imagined I haven't paid an electric bill in the Philippines out of my own pocket in over five years. Um, more than 80% of my bills and cost of living in Spain are covered from incomes outside of the incomes actually generated by working. Um, there is a lot of money to be made out there, but it's not all about making more money for yourself. A lot of the time it's about reusing the money to invest in something else that generates more money so life gets easier as you go along. Uh, for example, I invest in peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now, peer-to-peer -peer lending currently gives me a return of 10.4%, but what I've been doing is I've been investing uh, money from other incomes. So it starts to get into the realms of free money in the sense that it's money that I have invested time in previously and it's paying off now. Um, like I say, you've got 10.4% interest off that, and that's ongoing. There's, there's no risk on that. I mean, the risk, I don't know anybody's lost any money in peer-to-peer -peer whatsoever. Um, so, that, I mean, for me, it's not a great return, but it's a stable return, which is one of the main things, is actually having an income that is not going to be affected by other things going on. Uh, oh, uh, I was, uh, and hi Jason, man, I was just saying that to, to another person. Yeah, exactly. You've got to have these other income streams open. See, the YouTube income, um, I brought this up before. The UK, YouTube income pays my expenses in the Philippines. Um, while I'm here, I mean, I'm in the UK at the moment. While I'm here in the UK at the moment, my websites and stuff are paying for my expenses in Spain. My YouTube stuff pays for my expenses in the Philippines, and I've got uh, well, I, I've got enough in the Philippines to sit there for probably a year just on the excess from my costs in the Philippines because I have extra money being generated than more than I'm spending. In Spain, it's a bit more difficult with two kids, with private health care, and we have like now it's the summer holidays and paying for. The, uh, the kids to have like the, uh, what do you call it, the summer hot, the summer schools, which are like 60 euros, 60 euros a week per child um, for the next few months. So, so that's cost me a few, few, few uh, euros. But the point is you've got to sit there and work on these things. Um, I set some stuff up years ago just on blogs and websites it's still generating money. It's not massive money, but it's still generating revenue. Um, and you combine it. And the point is, you start off with, like anything, it snowballs. Um, as Jason Rodimer says, people need to have multiple streams of income. Yeah, 100%. If, if you want to get ahead, I mean, I know some people go to, want to go to the Philippines. Uh, myself, I'm looking at I've got expenses in Spain of about 110,000 euros for buying a property and paying the car off. So for me, I want to hammer that. Um, Wes, can I have a link to your website? I've got, I've got a load of websites. It's not just one. I have multiple. Um, one of them is I, I haven't updated this website in years. I mean, literally. Um, that website I've just put in there generates about ten dollars a month and i haven't updated for ages uh, i because i i just i just haven't had time i've got, I've got other projects to pay more but the point is that brings in ten dollars every single month with doing absolutely nothing if you look at it look at the last day last time i put something on there it's years ago um you think well it's only ten dollars a month it's 120 dollars a year for doing nothing because it was done years ago. Uh, uh, Jason Rodimer, I worked at JP Morgan, Chase Bank, and I, I do business planning and investments. Yeah, see the thing with me at the moment, I'm, 
I'm getting to that point where I'm tired of working for others. Um, I own my own company. I, I'm, I work for myself, but at the same time, I want to get away from having to be sat in the UK when I can be sat in Spain, sat in the Philippines, etc. Um, so that you've got to drive it in a way that sort of says, you know what, I want to stop doing this. I want to be out of this um, arena. So another thing that's quite good, I've got a friend in Spain that makes a full-time income of doing uh, blog posts and uh, he does ebooks. He his ebooks make some serious money. Uh, does, he does really well on that. Um, now the thing with it, you've got to spend a lot of time on it. But if it's in the right niche, it doesn't even need to be that great. You know, then the day a lot of the ebooks aren't selling for big money. But if it's got the right content and it's put in the right way, it's easy money. You know, this is the thing. You know, a lot of these projects are not about trying to be the next uh, writer of Harry Potter. You're trying to fill a gap for a specific product. Uh, for example, say moving to the Philippines, doing a guide for like three ninety nine. Not a big amount of money, but you'll get a lot of people buy it if it's actually worth the money. Three ninety nine is not a lot of money. You know, at the end of the day, if you, even if you walk somebody through how to do um, immigration, they would have saved that three ninety nine just within that, just within that section. So you know, you, if somebody complains, well, your book was uh, wasn't worth three ninety nine. You can turn around and say, you know what, just in the first section, you saved more than that. I tell you that now. Um, Jason uh, Rodemar, uh, yeah, I just opened my online store and I added an affiliate program to help others make passive income. Yeah, the, I mean. I've started doing more recently because um, I'm sort of wrapping up. I've got, I want out of it within the next eight years. Uh, I want to basically be just spend time with the kids in the next eight years and work's basically wrapped up. I'm just on the laptop lifestyle 100%. Uh, Janie Recats, every penny counts. Exactly, it does. A lot of time, a lot of people are spending money they shouldn't be spending and then getting interest that they're giving to somebody else, like on a credit card and this sort of stuff. I don't have any credit cards. People are paying me interest, and that's that's the thing. You want to move away from any loans whatsoever. That's why when I say 110,000 euros for Spain, I'm, I'm talking I want to pay that off. I haven't even got the loans or anything else, but I want rid of it. it I haven't even took it on yet, but I want rid of it before it even happens. So right now I'm working out my mortgage price, which is probably about 450 euros a month. I am going to generate passive income to pay that mortgage for free. It, it, that will co be covered out of passive income. Stuff I set up, and okay, I may have to spend an hour in the evening or an hour a week, but once it's up and running, it's just it just pays the bills. And at the end of the day. You can do that without having to sit there and go, I'm going to have to do an extra two hours of work, you know, on a shift or whatever. That's what people need to look at. They need to step away from seeing the, the, the trap. The trap The trap for me is when I sit here looking at I, friends with new BMWs, houses they don't need, and other expenses, they turn around and they're like, "Oh, I'm working so hard, and you know, I, I I've got bills to pay." And I'm thinking, "What are you living or are you working?" Because I just see somebody working. You're paying your you don't own a car. You're paying somebody else that will reward you with their old car by the time you've paid for it. Um, the house, you don't need a house that size. So if you're spending more, twice as much as you need, then you're already giving the bank probably twice as much as it's worth. So that's, that's how I, I analyze things. You know, even in Spain, we're living in a two bedroom apartment. Can we get a bigger place? The answer is yes. Are we looking around? Yes, but because we're in a holiday zone, people want big rents, etc. We're not in a rush. We'll wait till we get the right right one to come along, because at the end of the day, we want to move eventually to from renting to buying, 
and it comes from passive incomes. It's going to be a case of I'll be able to go to the bank, say, look, you can see the money every month, give me the mortgage, give me the house, and then move on from there. Um, yeah, whereas cars are useful for just five years, then people get new ones. Yeah, but there's a cycle of debt. That's the problem. People get into debt for it, and then it, they, for, like you're saying, five years. They've paid it off over five years, then they get a new one, and then they get more debt. They, you know, that it's a cycle of debt. Um, Jason Rodimer, that's why I have the store and the, the affiliate program. I want to help others live a better life, even if it's a little. It only takes a little. The reason it takes a little is when you can see that things are free. Because I've explained this before um, a while back about the way I work in boxes. I finance things in boxes. Like, for example, um, you have your your household bills in boxes. So say your household bills are $400 or 400 pounds, whatever. That's in a box. You've got the stuff that you waste money on, like credit card bills and stuff like that. That's another box. Another box is your car, which is something you love. And then you've got your hobbies and stuff. What you're trying to do is get rid of the expensive ones, so you want to hit the credit cards. If you can get that paid off with using a, another income, then every month is coming down to the point it disappears. So you're not only using a income stream that's not your day-to-day -day working, but also it's got rid of that interest you're giving away to a a bank, a credit card company, or whatever, you're wiping that out. And that's that's really important in getting ahead in life. Um, uh, Jason Wodemer, that's why I have the story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. You've got to do this in stages because it's, um, it's a bit like doing the YouTube stuff. And I do say this quite a lot. Philippines niche is not the niche. The Philippines niche is probably one of the most saturated niches on the planet in the sense that it's got a lot of people with a lot of time. So having niches which are of a higher value with less people in it, uh, with people with less time to do stuff on it, has a higher value. You make more money. Uh, for example, like pension funds or... Uh, retirement funds, how to retire early, those sort of things. There is the advertising in those has a lot more money pumped into it. The same with real estate, the same with um, cars, the same with car insurance. You know, look at where advertiser, the big advertisers are spending money, the companies that are throwing money at it. That's where your YouTube channel wants to be. It's nice to do these sort of videos, but these aren't for money. The, these these make a bit of money, but there's other chat niches out there that make way more money with a lot less videos. Um, yeah, uh, Jason, what am I? That's that's a dead invest, investment. Cars that is the cause. They don't make you money unless it's a classic, but that's rare to have. Yeah, well, this is the bizarre thing. You know, you buy a car to go to work. Um, so you're taxed on the car, you're taxed on the fuel. The, the, the main reason you have the vehicle is to go to work. So it's sort of like a big tax on yourself. Um, then you're taxed on your insurance, you're taxed on maintaining it, and it, it's an expense. Um, it's like here in the UK. I want to buy a new car, but I keep putting myself off. Because at the end of the day, where I'm working at the moment, I can get a train and be there. And the train for the week cost me less than the fuel it would cost me in a car. So at the end of the day, convenience-wise, it's not as convenient as a car. But cost-wise, it's probably saving me half of what a car would cost. Um, because obviously, when you've got the road tax, the maintenance, the uh, uh, purchase of the vehicle. So there is, there is reasons where you sit there and go, okay, I hate public transport, which I do. But I justify it to myself. It's like, okay, you're looking at a dead weight. A car is a dead weight. It's, it's nice to get out and about. It's nice to have that freedom. But at the same time, locking yourself into a purchase that um, you don't really need is sort of pointless. Now, in Spain, it's a little bit different because in Spain, um, there's more than one user because my wife will be driving soon. So this, the, the car has more than one 
use there because the uh, the car system is not fantastic. Uh, sorry, the bus system where we live is not fantastic. So you do need a vehicle there. But here we have access to the the bus bus uh, bus routes, train routes, etc. Uh, where we live in Torbecha, the the bus route it gets you there eventually, but it does take a lot of time. Um, yeah, Wes, what is a good online store for a passive income? Um, well, you know, I would say look in the, into the drop shipping because you don't need as much stock. Well, you don't need any stock. You're you're getting it uh, fulfilled offshore. Um, you know, it's also worth looking at what's in your area. You know, if you want to do something in your area, um, you know, state-wise, it's like a one of my tenants out of Australia, they did really well out of um, safety gear for the mining industry. Um, that was predominantly their sales was like high vis safety boots, hard hats, safety gloves, all that sort of stuff because that's where, um, well, the mining industry is the big boom in Australia. But they, they would go in, they had a proper, well, they do have a proper high street store. So people actually go in there as well as order online. So the fact is you see it online and you say you can come in and pick it up, it sells. Um, yeah, that's it. Jason Rodner, uh, getting a store that sells items that people use every day. Yeah, you know, if you're selling things like uh, toasters, you know, even things like shampoos, depending where it's coming from, depends on the warehousing setup. But it is day-to-day -day products, certainly. It, I mean, the thing is, if you get big enough as well, you can brand them yourself. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there where you have more accessibility to the market than you realize. Um, there's a lot of places to do drop shipping. There's a lot of places to do direct ordering um, where you can stick a percentage on it and just even deliver it. You know, it's, it's surprising how much is out there. I've got a, our old neighbor here used to do mobility scooters. Well, it's still, well the, the neighbor's not here, but they still do mobility scooters. Uh, cause you used to buy them by the shipload. Um, but easy money, because what do they do? They lease them out. They, they offer the maintenance program, they're, they're leasing them for at least to, at least to buy, at least so you don't have any headaches. And they make an absolute fortune off them. There is plenty of businesses out there. This is this is the thing. I mean, in the UK, it's an aging population, so there's plenty of markets in that side. Um, but as Jason says, it's like if you're looking at something for drop shipping, day-to-day -day items is the way to go. You know, because the thing is, you're getting a lot of regular orders. Uh, Consuela Carrington, what advice do you have for someone who is completely new to wanting to start multiple passive income streams of income? First thing I would recommend is actually speaking to people that are already doing things. You're probably already speaking to people that you know, um, that you want to follow some of the ideas they've got. Speak to them directly, but I'll also say avoid the ones that are trying to sell you something. Um, you know, you get the one. Buy my ebook because you know that's I I don't buy into that. Uh, it, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's, yeah, it's um, what you want to try and do is concentrate on the people that are really trying to help. You know, at the end of the day, there is a lot of opportunity out there. There is there there is a stupid amount of opportunity out there, and a lot of people just don't see it. Um, I mean, it's like my best. Regular incomes have been done while I've been sat in the Philippines because you have the time to think, concentrate, come up with new ideas. Then you hit it, you try this one, does it work? No, try this one, yes, that one's starting to work. And you, you've got to keep that pressure on to keep yourself motivated to find the things that work. Um, Jason Rodemar, if you have the money to buy the product, you can make your own brand and it's not that expensive. Exactly. Exactly. I, I got involved with uh, somebody a while back that wanted me to invest in China um, the, to the point that he, he was sending me the stuff for the factory. They would produce whatever we wanted. It was a massive factory that produced toasters, waffle makers, all that sort of stuff en masse. And I'm like, 
okay, this is, you know, it's, it's above my pay grade at the moment, certainly interested, but they could produce it by the thousand, no problem. Um, yeah, Wes, how about UITF in the Philippines banks? I haven't looked into that, so I can't really talk about that. I'll have to research that first. Um, Scuba Tom, hi, Matt. Hey, hi, Tom, how's it going? Uh, it's good to see you. Um, but yeah, you've got to have a look around. There is stuff all over the place. One of the things that's a key element is try not to get anything in bricks and mortar. Um, because like here in where I'm in Worcester, UK, the cost of uh, business rates is expensive, staff is expensive. Um, the running costs are just not worth it. You need to try and keep it going online where you can, unless you're in a unique position. For example, if I headed into Birmingham, I can find locations that will give me rent-free periods, will give me tax-free, etc., because they're in areas that are undesirable um, in the sense that they have a high crime, high unemployment, etc. Not the best places, obviously. Which is why if you can do it online, it's even better because you don't have any of this stuff. Um, what, I mean, it's like today. Um, I'm buying a drone. You know, I brought this up before. It's coming from Hong Kong Direct. Now, that drone is going to be around 50 to 100 pounds cheaper than it is in the UK. Now, could I sell the same drone from the same supplier and stick 100 pounds on it? The answer is yes. Uh, if I could find a buyer, they would buy it off me because I can sell it. I can sell them one cheaper than they would buy it locally. So that's the whole point. You know, this is why. It, I mean, even if you could get people to buy into you taking the risk on purchasing stuff, because once you open your client list up, you know where people will actually supply it to you. You're laughing because you've already tested the water. You got people you can trust, and you can sort of just like what well, it's like drop shipping. You place the order. It goes to them after they paid you, so you don't lose. Uh, Jason, a good way is also find an affiliate programs, and all you have to do is post website links, and then just takes a few a bit of time, and it's easy to do. Yeah, I agree. Affiliate links is probably the easiest one. If you're going to start affiliate links and writing about uh, a good product. Or tied in with the affiliate link, etc. They will pay off. I've had it for things like um, P, uh, what do you call it? A private network, a VPN, uh, VPN networks. Because here in the UK, they're getting a bit of a clamp down on the uh, internet network, so VPNs are quite good. Now, every time somebody signs up, I get like thirty euros, and it works. You know, you write an article, you do a video, you leave it up on the internet, you're doing nothing, you, you spend like 20 minutes on it, and then you might get paid off it every couple of months. So it's easy money. You're not working hard for it. Um, Consola Carrington, also, do you recommend any books or articles online to study more about it? It's more than one thing. That's the problem because you have like online stores, you have affiliate marketing, you have things like the YouTube videos, you've got blogging, you've got um, things like Steam. Have you guys come across Steam? Do you, know, do you guys know Steam? Um, yeah, Steam is something new. Let me see if I can get Steam up over here. Let's try, try and get Steam going without crashing the uh, crashing my windows. Hang on. Let's see if I can find Steam. Steam it. Into, uh, Steam it actually pays you for publishing articles and stuff on their website. You'll have to read up on it, but if you want to like just try something new and experiment, it's quite new. Um, they. You can make some money on that. It won't be difficult to make money. Um, uh, Steam is in the web, the gaming website. No, this is completely different. This, this is more of a social network, but they pay you money. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Jason, uh, DJI is expensive to buy. Find a low price brand. Um, the DJI drone, I, I'm getting the Phantom 3 standard. Um, this is to replace my Phantom, the original one. Uh, um, the reason I'm getting it is when I go back to Spain, I'll be using it for footage and stuff. Um, so the reason I want to use that is it will pay for itself over a period of time. Um, you know, I'll do some stuff on YouTube. I might set a separate channel up just for the, the video footage and stuff. Um, so that's probably, probably going to cost me about 400 pounds. But at the same time, it's an investment in the sense I will recover that within a year, you know, from YouTube videos and maybe a couple of events and stuff for people. So it's got value in doing it that way. Um, the, the, that's the thing. I, I sit and evaluate where I spend money. It's like this Mac. I just bought this MacBook Air um, this this month. That ha is already starting to pay for itself. And the fact that I've got a reliable laptop, it's light, so it's easy to carry. It um, does everything I need it to do. Um, at the same time, okay, it's expensive. It costs me nearly a thousand pounds. But it will pay for itself in no time. Um, oh, and by the way, I ran off through my tax accounts. I re it's only really cost me six hundred pounds after I removed all the tax and everything on top of it. So, and then even that the six hundred is left is tax deductible because I didn't actually earn it as a salary income. So it's less than six hundred because taking the tax off my annual income. So yeah. So things like that are where you can make savings as well. It's running things through your accounts. Um, yeah, whereas put a tracking system on your drone if it gets lost. And honestly, if you lose these things, it's normally because it's completely destroyed. <laughs> it's, it, it's in the sea. It's in the lake. It's hit a mountain. It's um, Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. If it gets hit, it'll be destroyed, whatever's hit it. Um, but that's the thing. You've got to keep looking at other ways to make incomes. Um, I mean, I know if I was living in the UK, one of the things I would look at is like bouncy castles. You know, they're still very popular and they're not too expensive to buy. The good thing about these sort of things is you, you go there, drop it off, and then go off to work or whatever. You know, at the end of the day, it's not a difficult business to do. The main thing is you want to be trying to do is not tying up all your time in one idea. You want to be trying to get things flowing and then move off. Because at the moment, uh, for example, I'm doing a lot of surveys for a university. So that's tied me up for the last three months. My income streams are still growing and still continue to grow. But at the same time, okay, I'm making some good money. But at the same time, I'm locked into something for a period of time that is not ongoing. So, okay, I'm walking away with enough money for Spain for the next six to nine months. But at the same time, would I have been better spending more time on passive incomes? Uh, that's debatable. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, where's, what about food? Eat out or get groceries? Groceries, groceries work. And here's another thing. Here's something that is so simple and it makes money for doing nothing is doing food videos when you're actually cooking with your groceries. Just it's, it's money for literally nothing because you're actually doing it anyway. You're not actually going on, oh, going to have to do something special here. You're just doing your day-to-day -day stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff on food videos. One of, one of the guys I used to hang around with when I was, um, when I, well, when I used to, we used to hang out in a, a bar not far from here. Um, he, he's a butcher and his, his um, channel is absolutely phenomenal on YouTube. Um, it's got millions of views and it's been in the newspaper and all sorts, but um, it's just going up talking about food, you know, something so simple. Um, and that's the thing. There's a lot of stuff that is big money where you hunt around and you do a bit of work on it. And then you've got other stuff that you're doing already. You know, if you're putting a video, if you're going somewhere for the day, you just with video footage, what's it cost you? Absolutely nothing. Even if you just get a few views over a period of time, it may be worth $10 over the year. And it doesn't sound a lot, but that could be $10 every year 
for the next 10 years. Where, where can you go wrong? It'll pay for your new camera, it'll pay for something. You know, at the end of the day, passive incomes are fantastic. Um, what you need to do though is make sure you're buying into something that works. And when I say buying in, it's not buying in financially, but buying in in your time and investing in yourself to make it work. Um, it's not about buying, you know, if somebody said, I can guarantee this in two months, or whatever. I would stand back. I don't buy into those things myself. What I buy into is if somebody's got a formula that works and I can see it works, I see it works for them, which is the important bit, then I actually take an interest. Uh, but there's certainly, certainly money out there to be made. Um, yeah. But, and the, the reason I bring this up is I do it. I, I have money that pays for my life in the Philippines. I can go to the Philippines and retire tomorrow. I have enough income already. Um, but the I also have another stream, well, three income streams paid for Spain. And here in the UK, I just are in it in the UK. But the point being is there's nothing stopping you getting in the same situation as I am. Because at the end of the day, I want to be out of this rat race in eight years. I want to be finished. I want to be sitting back and just doing these videos and doing bits and pieces and not getting up at like 7, 8 a.m. I'd rather get up at 10, like I have in Spain, I get up around uh, 9, well, 9, 10 o'clock, kids go to school, then I will go and sit and have my coffee at the beach, that sort of stuff. I want to be doing that all the time. And there's nothing to stop you doing the same. At the end of the day, a lot of the reasons people don't do it is they'll, they'll turn around and say, well, that won't work. That can't happen. But everybody here has something to offer. Everybody here can find a way to make money. And at the end of the day, get one working. It doesn't matter how small it is. If, you're, if you started your own blog site and it's only making $1 a month. I remember when I started tropicalpenpals.com back in 19, uh, 2000, 2000 and. 2008, February 2008. The first month it made 36 cents. The biggest month it had um, was $200 in the month. Not a big amount, but at the same time, it went from cents to dollars. Um, that sort of died to death over time because my server crashed, but there was major problems with the server. But the point being is the money is there. You're going to have to invest a bit of time in it. You may have something you're very good at that you may not think there's a lot of value in it. I'll tell you now, get a YouTube channel up, get a website up, and get the two combined where you push the two things together. You will find you can make money off it. Um, there is money out there. I mean, Wes, I know Wes is off and out on his truck. One thing I'll say, Wes, is just try this for your channel, is record just the screen going from one city to another, just the road or town to town, and then just put it up on YouTube and see if you get views for doing absolutely nothing because it's on your route anyway. Because it's bizarre. Some of that stuff really works sometimes. Uh, uh, Jason, hey, Matt, if any of the viewers want to join my affiliate program, I can give my email or I can send you my site in the link at the bottom of my store. Yeah, please send it over. Um, everybody, you know, if anybody wants the link, in fact, Jason, put it in put it in the, the bottom of the, the comments when I finish this video. Just put the information in there and I'll approve it so other people can see it. How's that? Um, that way everybody can make their own mind up. But you guys are in control of your own lives. If you want to do stuff, you need to make it happen. And like now, here I am, it's 10 o'clock at night. I've been working all day. And then I've come back to my parents' house and I'm working now, you know, and obviously I'm pushing this video out. This is my end of the day. I'm about to chill out and relax. You need to invest in yourself. I'm also using, uh, I've also gotten the background, which you can't see, which is something else I'm doing in the background, is I'm doing a training course on something else. Because um, I'm always upgrading my skill set. I'm also lear always learning something new. Because if I find something, I can see potential in it, I need to understand it. So that is 
what you should you guys should be doing if you, you know when you're at work let's just say if you're at work and you're thinking those guys are making more than me because of they know something i don't learn it don't complain about it learn it if you want to you want to go that route take it um amelia selgado matt uh, are you a virtual assistant um sometimes i am I'm an expensive one. I'll tell you that now. Um, but yeah, like last year, I worked ten months for the for a um, FM company. Um, but yeah, I mean, doing that. I can't, see, I'm not allowed to disclose how much I was earning, but let's just say I was doing okay. I was good money for what I do, is but because I do it from a surveying point of view. But yeah, a virtual assistant's another way of making a good income. Uh, the same is. If you like English teaching, there's another revenue stream. I, I've got my TESOL certificate. I can teach English, not a problem. Did that part time on top of everything else, and then moved that money into um, peer to peer lending or into crypto investments or something else. The fact is, there is money there. You use your time to manage things for you. Um, Amelia Sagada, financial company. It's a facilities management company. Um, I was working out all their maintenance programs for the NHS, which is National Health Service for the United Kingdom. I did 600 clinics in the hospitals. Uh, UK, UK is where it's located. Um, but I'm working for a university currently doing something similar. But here I'm actually building the entire program, so it's a bit more complex. Um, but yeah. You can get in a position wherever you want to be. If you want to get ahead in life, you can create it. If you're swamped with bills, sit down and work out how you're going to get out of it. Passive incomes is one of the easiest ways. And I say easy in the sense that if you invest a bit of time and no money and you get some outcome from it and some money, then it's easy. Because once you start hitting patterns that work, start hitting a venture that works, an item that works, a product that works, a niche that works, you start to see money. And it's quite funny. You'll see one niche only makes like five, three dollars, whatever. This one over here makes five hundred. You know, you just hit the right niche, and you can make some serious cash. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go in relaxed. Um, uh, Amelia Sagado, hey Matt, do you have plans to start an online English learning site like 51 Talk or Verbling? I do, but right now I'm still swamped with stuff um, in the UK. I'm going back to the Philipp uh, back to Spain in five weeks' time, but I don't know if you guys are aware about the area. The block of the apartment blocks that burned down in London, um, but I've been approached by several companies to deal with the fire compliance on not only high-rise blocks, but there is a lot of worry around commercial buildings as well as residential for large um, large entities. I think entities is the easiest way of doing it because some things like the Hospitals, um, universities, colleges, etc. They, they're tied in with some residences as well as local authorities. So I've been approached by a few of them. So I'm just waiting to see if there's enough money in it for me to take my time on that. But yeah, there's a lot of money in there. Um, I mean, let's go to start now. Yeah, I would do. I, I, if I can get somebody on, on top of it that can develop the technical side for me, um, I'd be there now because I know we're, there's big money in there um i just need somebody that can invest their time and just collaborate with it because i know we can make it work um jeff hoffman good info matt uh thanks thanks glad you enjoyed it uh arif sali hi matt hi how's it going um i'm gonna leave you guys for the evening because in all honesty i'm tired it's half past 10 i'm gonna sit and do a a lot of people do is actually just watch TV for 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, Amelia, yeah, just message me. Um, if you message me at matt at matt with a key, co UK, I'm always looking for good businesses to work with, uh, good partners, because in all honesty, if you want to take a business from A to B, I'll quite happily help. 
I've, I've helped a lot of people over the years where I've made no money out of their businesses, but I was quite happy to just help, help them take their stuff to the next level. Um, everybody have a great evening and thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please, please like and share if you want. All right, thank you.